guys, what's up? This is Gunshot200 here today, and today I'm going to be playing some Kerbal Space Program, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a successful rocket. In sandbox mode, of course, I will probably be showing some career mode videos, but let's make a simple rocket. Now, I'll go over how to make asparagus stage rockets on another video, but for now, let's just start with this one. So, mainsail engine, very good, provides tons of thrust, but I say we can use probably use a skipper engine for this, because we are going to be using solid fuel rocket boosters. Now, this is not a good career mode rocket, because it is quite expensive. But if you're just like, I don't care about saving money, I just want to make a really fun rocket that is simple, easy to build, well then this is the right video for you. And if you haven't seen my other Kerbal Space Program videos, you can check them out. I've only made one, and that was like just like 20 minutes ago, so... And if you're wondering what screen recorder I'm using, it's... D-E-B-U-T screen recorder. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's lagging right now. If you don't want it to have any lag, you might want to skip ahead a little bit in the video because it usually takes a little bit of time to buffer. But Let's, see. Let's use a Mark II command pod so we can fit two little kerbals. See, as you can see, this is a very very basic rocket here and if you see this little thing down here that has the little circle in the middle that is symmetry mode you click that once and if you can see right here there is two of these and they're completely parallel to each other this is incredibly helpful for symmetry because it's very important for a rocket to have symmetry can see there is two solid fuel boosters now these things are called strut connectors these things are very important to stabilize your rocket because without these these big boosters would probably fall off and explode Of course, this is a very simple rocket. This might get you into orbit, but I don't think it's gonna get you back. I'll be covering more complex rocketry in the next video, probably. And I will also be, in the next video, I will probably be making an asparagus stage rocket. Which is technically, it doesn't really give you any more fuel, but it does give you more delta V because all your en engines are firing at the same time, which is giving you more thrust more efficiently. And delta V is this right here. This is what's called delta V. And this is pretty much the total energy that all your boosters are going to apply and how high you're going to get. Now this right here is how you stage your rocket. You're going to want probably your main engine and your boosters to fire first. And then I'll do this. So... This game is pretty complex, I will warn you, though. So we are going to want the second ones to jail. Second...
Oh, sorry, I forgot to turn off my fan. Let me do that now. This game has pretty good music, I would say. <laughs> yep, now let's launch this puppy. Oops. Got to put a kerbal inside it. I pretty much killed Jibadak. And I don't have any pilots, so let me quickly go and grab an SAS system. SAS is incredibly important because if you first start, you're probably not going to be an expert pilot. So you're going to want some control guidance system, which is under a Unity, I believe. Uh. Okay. No, this is essential to control your rocket. And aerodynamics isn't a hundred percent important, but Now let's make this four-way symmetry and apply our aerodynamic nose cones. Now I know what you've all been waiting for. Let's us launch. Now this uh, screen recorder is for Windows. I'm using it for Windows 7, but it can be pretty much used for any Windows version. Windows 7 is my favorite, and a lot of people do like Windows 7. See? This is kind of a weird looking rocket. If you get me, but... F... The F key is SAS, and this is... This basically stabilizes your rocket. And do I have enough for us to get off the ground? Please... This is a bad example, Lou. Well, I had to sort of ditch the secondary boosters, but I should have added a mainsail. <laughs> I say that a lot. That's just not enough. So we did sort of waste, but look, let's zoom out a ton. Look at those boosters going up. I should want to bet those things will beat us. Like. Look at those things. They're like zooming right now. I'm gonna want to thrust. But we're moving 100 meters per second. That's about as fast as your average airsoft gun, okay? That's insane, and we're not a BB. We are a 50 ton moving hunk of mass. So. I have way too much fuel tank, so this might not work. But usually you're gonna want to add a mainsail right here instead of the skipper. That's just technically the bigger engine and has way more thrust. Yeah, this is probably gonna fail horribly. And I usually never use boosters. I wonder. Ooh, they're oh they're dropping. But let's. Let's try to uh, position this thing. Good thing of, about the skipper is it has a larger vector range than the other one. And please tell me we're not dropping speed. Because that would suck. And we're almost moving a thousand meters per second, guys. That is insane. That is as fast as a bullet. But we're in a, like, 30-ton moving piece of mass. Um, if you haven't ch seen my other Kerbal Space Program video, you should do so now. Let me throttle up a tiny little bit. See, we should probably make it in orbit with this. Maybe hopefully not. Or, hopefully so. And if you can see this ring right here, this is actually from my last. Look look how circular that is. That's from my last video. I was t 
teaching people how to get into orbit. I will do an orbiting basics video. But yes, we are slowly dropping speed, so let's let's hundred percent punch it. Let's just throttle all the way up. Should have used the mainsail. So, when in doubt, use a mainsail, pretty much. That's my point here. Look at all those failed rocket attempts. Look at that. It's just insane. It's one, two, three, four. There's a ton of random crap there. Slowly dropping speed. Ooh. Oh, SAS, uh, I forgot. Sometimes when you hold down SAS for a really long time, it actually, if you put your finger off SAS, it'll actually stay, because my finger is not on the F key right now, but. And to turn side to side, you don't use the arrow keys, you do W, A, S, and D, like Minecraft, basically. And I'm gonna have to end this video out here. Basically. But uh, this is Gunshot signing off. See you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for this video. See you guys.